morning guys hey um i am going to talk to you today about some scriptures and the message that the lord gave me um and it is time to get off this corona bus and stop the bus stop this madness so here's the scriptures guys and just listen to what i've got to say because it came directly from from him okay it's isaiah 43 Starts at 2, James 1, 3 through 12 was highlighted, but all of it's really good. And 1 Peter, same, 1, 3 through 12 was highlighted, but really you need to read the whole thing. But, so I printed it, I'm going to just kind of read through some of it as I go. Um, so let's start with Isaiah, and then I'll tell you kind of where I'm coming from with this. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the, the flame kindle upon thee. Guys, it's time to get in the spirit. It's time to come to the cross and through the cross and be covered under the blood of the Lamb. Why is it water and fire? Water puts out fire. Well, not in this case. That's us, guys, that we're the body. We're washed under the washing of the water of the word. If you really truly repented, if you've really truly been baptized, it's not the, the water that's the baptism, it's the rivers of living water. It's flowing through you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Many of y'all are, so I'm preaching to the choir. But I'm saying that we have to be his body and quit and get off this bus. Because it's like the whack-a-mole game, guys. Six months ago, it was all about the impeachment. And we heard and heard and heard and heard and heard. Then, you know, it was North Korea for a long time. It was Iran. It was this, that. Now it's one virus. One of the posts I put out was about 50,000 flu cases and didn't overload the hospitals and 5,000 does. There's something wrong here, guys. Why, why so many people vexed about it? Because it's a demonic attack, of course. But he wants us to... He, the enemy wants us to get focused on that. And that's why I'm saying it's time to stop this bus, get off this bus, this madness, and get back to Jesus, back to the reality of who we are, back to being Joel's army. Time to rise and shine, guys. It's a redirection. It's God's, God's GPS. God promised his son. God provided his son as a sacrifice so that we wouldn't have to. We got to get our mind focused on back on this, guys. I'm telling you about the going to go back to this bus thing because you have to hear it because it's just trash and garbage. Okay, maybe six months ago, maybe even a year ago, one of the candidates running for president who's no longer running for president. I'm not going to name names. You'll know who I'm talking about. Spit out that if he was elected, he first thing one of the first things he was going to do was that. <clears throat> If you didn't support the gay rights issue, the LGBT community, as a church, you're going to lose your tax exempt status. Man, it hit the it hit the fan, guys. People were barking about that. Everybody was, but it was all about the money and the tax status. Nobody looked at the bus, what was on the bus, the sin that was on the bus, because that's what the enemy's trying to do: get us refocused. One of my messages is about how he's coming against us in the natural. Look it up. Because he can't win in the spirit. So, you know, we're looking to the government. We're looking to Donald Trump. I'm not knocking the guy, guys. I'm praying for him all the time. Actually, I even voted for the guy. So, you know, like me or not, half you will, half you won't. <clears throat> but it needs to be looking to Jesus, the cross and Jesus, and get our focus off of this garbage. 
a few months ago I was in prayer and waking up and a man of dreams and scriptures and it was pretty deep guys that's where we all need to be and many of us are I'm not saying you're not I'm saying he just wants us to go deeper I was in prayer early in the morning it just happened to be my early morning prayer and the Lord said, Steve, why are you eating so much garbage? And God, kind of hurt, you know? So that's where we're at, guys, with all this stuff. We're polluting our mind with this trash and this garbage. Stepping in front of the bus that's running us over, and everybody's a coronavirus prophet. And when they said it, and how they said it, and why they said it, and what they said. And, you know, who cares about the vaccine that some billionaire wants us to all have a vaccine? I, there was a post, and it was a pretty, pretty, pretty good post. It said, you still want this vaccine? And, and it showed back in the earlier part of history when the U.S. government took the rural black, rural black people and gave them, infected them with syphilis, told them they'd get free health care. Man, guys, this stuff gets really twisted really quick, and it's time to get back to the Word and to the reality of it and the, the spiritual and get out of this carnal flesh. Me too. I had to do the same thing. So, let's go back to Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. This is 14. For your sake I have sent... To Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which make a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horses, the army and the power that shall lie down together. They shall not rise, they are extinct, they shall be are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know? It is I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. It's time to turn to him, guys. Now let's jump over to First Peter. Blessed be the God of our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, which according to abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We just came through Easter, guys. Everybody kind of, you know, semi had an Easter message, ignored it, sort of, partly. Closed churches because of this corona bus mess. Get off the bus. Time to stop the bus. Quit being, quit being led by this natural flesh when we need to be in the spirit, the reality of Jesus. To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and it fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. When we get our mind out, that's why it should be renewed by the renewing of your mind, guys. It's just time to just turn. There's, there's more to it in First Peter. There's a bunch of it. This, would, this, this one I got, this scripture I got two years ago. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in, revealed in the last time. Guys, we want to be the light of this world. We can't be when we're full of just spitting out all this, you know, wearing a mask. What's a cotton mask going to do, guys? Those are stupid. Honestly, I'm just going to be a little brutal here, guys. My granddad wore one when I was a kid to keep the pollen out of his face from cutting the grass because he had hay fever. You think a little pilly cotton mask? Guys, we're looking to the government for a check. What's a $1,200 check going to do? Most of y'all make that more than that on a paycheck. It, the ink's not even going to be dried and the money's already going to be gone. Businesses are looking to, you know, I know business people that, oh, I'm going to get two months worth of, you know, big checks 
or whatever. Where are you going to be in the third month, fourth month? Guys, it's time to get to the cross and not just to it, but through it. So we can be covered under the blood of the lamb. So it can be not on, it can be on the doorposts of our hearts. Uh, that's what he's talking about. He's not talking about your door and the front door of the front door of your house. He's talking about your spiritual house, your house, your heart. Guard your heart, your mind, your eyes. What are we hearing, seeing? That's why I'm so adamant about this, guys. It's time that we rise and shine. <clears throat> A few months ago, I don't know why I keep saying a few months ago, but not just because this, uh, just follow the timeline, okay? It just has, it just, that's just how it happened. He told me I was in prayer, and he said, look up the, the song, The Sound of Silence. You know, why would I even think about that, guys? It's a song that was written in the 60s. I don't even, you know, I'm not even a big music fan anymore. Honestly, I'm just not. A lot of, some people are in worship, and I'm not knocking all that. And I love to worship the Lord and praise and worship and thanksgiving, and I do it all the time. And I've got a few songs I even sing to them. You wouldn't listen because you'd run because my voice, you know, we're still working on that. <clears throat> but to the Lord, it's sweet, a sweet melody. But the sound of silence, the very first part, Hello, Darkness, my old friend. And then farther on down, it's that they worshiped a God, a neon God, a neon sign, and they bowed to that neon God. And then farther on down, it says the words of the prophet were written on a subway wall. Why were they written on a subway wall? Because the church has been underground. Look what just happened, guys. Now they're getting sued and stuff, and people are finally saying something, but, and the police were giving people tickets. I don't know. And it's hard to decipher exactly where the truth is in a lot of this stuff because because I got caught in that trap too. The internet's full of just people spouting and spitting out stuff. And some of it's false. We have to be very careful. So I'm throwing those out there. You know, some of you people that, you know, the fact checking people and stuff, you know, what I'm saying is it's time to just get our mind, you know, get it from the source. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. Get it from the rivers of living water. I'm going to read one part of James, but read those scriptures, guys. I just, very important to this hour. James 1, 3, know this, that the trying of your faith work is patience, but let patience have perfect work, that you may be perfect and, enti and, in and entire wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth to men all li to all liberty and unbraideth not, and shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let no man think he shall receive anything. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's what's happening with this, with this Corona bus, guys. I got one out there about a storm coming to America, and it is. Because I've had five or six dreams now about it. it but I got it last year. But I just put it out. But it's coming, guys. This is this probably might even pale in comparison to what's coming, but it's a decision time. It's going to be a choice time. I saw this 2016 or whatever was like decision time, election time. It's choice time, guys, 2020. Time to choose who you're going to serve. The devil and his corona bus madness and all the world and who's going to vac create a vaccine and mark of the beast is coming and and, and all that very could be i mean it could be right at, we could be right at the, at the cusp of it right at the doorstep of it i'm not saying people aren't seeing these things that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying there's not warnings out there i'm not saying that this stuff is not the, the reality of it what the real 
What I'm saying is it's time to get to the cross and not just get there lame and just kind of just throw ourselves down at the cross. It's time to weep between the porch and the altar and cry out and get his direction. I'm going to end with this. I put it out there because of 5 a.m. prayer. That's what he told me. Get this nation to pray at 5 a.m., the world to pray at 5 a.m. Pray all day. Pray. You know, you may, now most people, a lot of people don't even have a job, but you, you may, that your prayer time may be different. That's okay, too. I'm not, but every chance you get, I'll see you there. You won't be in my house, but we'll be together. The Lord will see us. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, you're going to get its direction from that. Not from me. Not from YouTube, not from some other preacher. You're going to get it straight from him. That's what I'm telling you. That's the GPS repositioning you back to Jesus. Get our mind off of this. Get out of this bus, this this trap. It's a trap, guys. Just like this trap of this these checks and stuff. Now that, you know, why do you think God cratered all, almost all the religious stuff? This was built upon sand, guys. He wants to build it upon the rock. True relationship with him. Why are people kind of hold up and just, man, families are becoming more important. Relationships are becoming more important. Jesus needs to be at the forefront of this, guys. Not this mess of some disease. Honestly, guys, I haven't stopped. Because I've got it in my heart to help to help people. So I'm on about my father's business. I haven't not gone out every day. I haven't stayed in the house. I haven't locked myself up. Sorry, what are you going to do? Send the send the police to arrest me? Maybe after this YouTube gets out. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter. Because I'm about my father's business. I'm out. I'm not going to Quarantine myself because the devil told me to. Through people, whatever. There's pawns. A lot of them don't even realize it. That's why I said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Some of them know what they do, but some of them don't. But this, this government business is, is a trap, guys. And now it's a trap for the church. They're like, we're going to start, you know, helping the church financially. Man, where's that going, guys? Let me get off of this. Off, I'm, I'm telling you all these things not to cloud your mind with more stuff. I'm saying, bing, 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 open up your eyes of understanding and realize we got to get a hold of him. We got to have that true source, that living water. Rivers of living water, that fire from upon high, that Joel's army, that Holy Ghost, the true Holy Ghost. Not just the surreal stuff that was was happening and people claimed to be. Sorry, I'm going to be a little brutal and a little honest, guys. You know what I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, let's get this right. Let's get off this bus, out of this trap. Out of this dependence on the government. For what? Look how quickly they just discarded the church, supposed church. Well, no, God was behind that. He let it happen because it had to come down. Because we have to get on our knees. Look at the video I got. My name is Jesus. Every knee's going to bow, guys. I don't care if you had a million people in your church or you were the homeless guy at the, at the door greeting people. Or gal. Same. Read Matthew 20, guys. It's in the Bible. It's in the book. It's in your prayer closet. It's in your word. It's in your secret place with God. So we love you guys. Um, talk to you real soon. Just stop the bus and get off. Love you guys.